Oh, yeah. What's it What's it like for you now? In I mean, how many times do people my age? I mean, I, I would imagine I'm right in the middle of uh, the age of people that uh, I'm 32. Yeah. And yeah about that how age. many times do you have people come up to you and just? I mean, gosh. I mean, I'm gushing. See, he 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 doesn't. He's very skillful in the fact that you know he he's, he's in plain plain face. See, and it's a little, it's easier to, to identify me. Face. Yeah, <laughs> plain. I've noticed that. <laughs> uh, so, and in my voice, I can't rob banks. I can't do anything. You know, hi, they how are you? Recognize Oh yeah, you're Gertrude. You know, they recognize Bob because he played. You know, uh, how many uh, characters did you uh, play? Ten. Thirteen. Four. Thirteen. Remember, we counted thirteen. You look like Sturdly. <laughs> See, they <laughs> recognize Sturdly. <laughs> okay, Sturdly, the the book room for the faraway hills. But uh, then I did the Animal Man, Animal Catch Can, and then, uh, 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 Come on. Yeah, I'm Ms. thinking, Smith. I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, it is. I did. So keep, once you get a sign, put him in the joke time. Miss Smith from the Miss Smith joke yeah. One time, uh, people wanted to see what Miss Smith looked like because I just, you know, saw the back of Miss Smith's head and sure. back. So I said, okay, boys and girls, tomorrow we're going to see Miss Smith. So the big day arrived, and Miss Smith came up, hey. You do the voice. Hey, there, Snooky. Once again, it's time for the Miss Smith Joke. Oh, I said, Here wait, we go. wait a minute, Miss Smith. I said, all what the boys and girls. What do you mean, wait a minute? You're always telling me, wait a minute. All the boys and girls want to see what you look like. Okay. Would you turn around? All right. So Miss Smith turned around. Well, he was doing the voice, yeah. but we had Sandy Hill. Do you remember Sandy Hill? Yeah. She used to do. And also. So she turned around. Of course, she was gorgeous. Turned around and waved at everybody. Yeah, and then, we, of course, and, and then uh, who, was the, who was the beautiful Hollywood lady? Uh, oh, um. Uh, Actually, I can't remember, but but anybody that come, um, some pretty little lady that would be in town and on and or something or other, she'd come in, do the Apache show, and be Miss Smith, kind of thing. So it was a it was a lot of fun thing. We had Steve Allen and a bunch of really neat people. There. Oh, you, know, you mean some of the there. people? Oh, yeah, we had uh, we had Doc and Festus. On oh, weren't they great? Uh huh. We yeah. did a bit with them, and of course we had Steve Allen. We had um, oh, I can't remember. We had uh, Danny Thomas. Yes. We had. Uh, Debbie Reynolds. Oh, she was a sweetheart. Now, we Debbie Reynolds is really neat. She, you know, she'd come in and she'd, you know, she she took off my wig and took off things. If anybody's been going to be Gertrude out here, Gertrude down here, I'm going to be Gertrude. A beat <laughs> hit me like that. I fell over on the wall kind of thing. She stuck on it and she started doing the bit. What a wonderful gal. I mean, we just, when yeah. people came to town, they just jumped right into it. Yeah, it seemed Love like uh, you really need people. Uh, people would come to town and somehow or another PR people would say, well, you got to be on the J.P. Patches show. So, yeah. It's kind of like uh, uh, stars today want to be on uh, Sesame Street. Yeah. You know. Is that right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, sure. If you can be on Sesame, then that's... Yeah, you know, watch Sesame. Do you have children? No, I don't. Oh, when your you turn. do, your, your kids turn. will watch Sesame well, Street. You know, the Muppet Show. Yeah. yeah. We watch Sesame oh, yeah, well, there's always a star on the Muppet Show. Yeah. yeah. And the same thing. Yeah. Wow. But uh, we had a good time. I mean, can you think back Have to you, are you, You're not recording this, are you? I hope you're not, because actually... Are you recording this? <laughs> sure. I mean, does this amaze you? So can you believe that? They're here? actually recording us. We don't believe Wait, that. I want to check the mic. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't checked the mic. <laughs> the, the mic is no, there. Yes. It's a new kind of mic. It's nice. Testing. What? Three. No, no, no. It's, see, it's 1996, and, and what, we're uh, older uh, folks, uh, you know. Uh, Remember the mic used to hang out in front? You know, we'd bang under the mic. And, Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I used to stand up sometime and the mic could hit me on the head yeah. when the floor director, you know, wasn't watching me. He'd be watching the monitor. How much of all this was spontaneous? All none of it. it. <laughs> none Every, of it? None of it, all written down, scripted yeah, heavily. Yeah, oh, sure. Boy, oh, boy, yeah. No, oh. no, no, we'd get an idea, see. Okay, now we're going to go down to the secret room and we're going to get a hold of Gorse, see, because Gorst, is, Gorst has got a new shipment of uh, food coming in from Farber Frank. What kind of food was it? It was fodder. It was verbal fodder. Anybody can right. remember that. Yeah. From Ferndale? No, well, it Farmer Frank's or Farmer wait, Fred? Wait, you wait Fife. a minute. Farmer Fred was from Fife. Okay. Farmer was Frank was from Ferndale. Oh, fried? It was fresh, fried. Fried? <laughs> Friday? On Friday only. Fabulous. That's it. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you know, we'd pick up we'd pick up a word with a beginning being a beginning letter. Everyone would every letter after a word after that would have to come. I think he knows. Really? This no. is great. Okay. <laughs> Talk to me like I don't know. Well, that's no, okay. that's simple, good. but good. Yeah, good. Probably watch Stan Borson. Oh, oh God. Oh. Listen, who's a who's a delightful guy? Stan. Hey, you know what? All the topless bands, all, you know, you know, the topless bands would come out in, in the 19, early 1960s. How come we never saw any uh, lady accordion players? I wouldn't use that. I don't think, yeah, we can't use that. No. Keep going. 
No, uh, we should mention where we are. We haven't done that. No, but yes, I want to say it out loud, and that is we are at the Museum of History and Industry in Montlake. Yes, and it's open to the public, and it's great. It's really good, and, and it exhibits all over, and you must you come can, down and see us. Yeah, right, we're here all the time. Okay. You see that? You see that behind us? I'm the good-looking one. Sturdly? I'm not even sure why I'm here. I just, I'm why, am I next, why, why am I next? Why am I next to Bobo? That's the part that always got oh, me. Oh yeah, they got to get a picture of Bobo. Sheesh. Okay, Bobo's here yeah. along with Gertrude. Yeah. People no, confuse no, no. them. That's why they put it. They're listed. The sign well, it says Gertrude. They're smart. Yeah. Tell me about the uh, the the famous Ketchikan reading uh, of. Uh, a henny penny. Yuck. Henny penny, yes. <laughs> He's laughing already. <laughs> yes, already I'm laughing. Well, let me let me set it up. It's certainly. Uh, I was on vacation and I had tried to read this story, and I told. Now I got to go before you. Okay, now before this, now J Johnny Carson had tried to read this story, and there's some pretty wild and weary, weary names and voices and, and 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 words in this thing. See, and that's not a that's not a, an easy uh, easy book to read. Well, anyway, I tried to read it, and I couldn't read it, and I told Bob, I said, well, while I'm on vacation, whatever you do, don't read Henny Penny. Well, of course, well, they taped it. When I came back, I saw the results. Yeah, I mean, I'm reading this stuff, and I, you know, you can't say this to kids, and I'm doing all of this, and hey, then I started falling down laughing. And then once you start laughing, I you know. I think we got the goosey pussy. Yeah, I that's think. not good. You can't say that. <laughs> you know, that's not good. So anyway, and I have a pro I've always had a problem with, you know, when I start laughing, my knees go bang. I'm on the floor. I, I, there's something says fold, you know, when I'm gone. <laughs> but other than that, I, mean, I got multiple sclerosis too, but hey, I'm all right. There's no problem. I've had that for what, uh, 15, 20 wait, years. Wait, we only right. mentioned the museum once. Right, the Museum of History and Industry. Wait, it's, wait, oh, wait, you did it last time. I have to do it now. Go. Museum of History and Industry. And it's right at Mount Lake, right yes. near the University of Washington. Adjacent to 520. Wow. You know your city. I'm here. I know about this place. Well, listen. Uh, has, has, have things slowed down since the show? I mean, thank God. I'm glad you asked because we're still making appearances. And uh, next Saturday, Where? on the 24th, 24th. not, not uh, this Saturday, the uh, next, next Saturday. Saturday not the last 24th, Saturday, the next Saturday, not last Saturday. We are going to be in Auburn at, uh, where are we going to be? Oh, yeah. oh, you can never remember anything. Come on. It's Incredible Universe. We're right. going to be to Auburn, in Auburn at the Incredible Universe what from time? 11 to 1 o'clock. Very good. <laughs> Let's have a round of applause for Bob Newman. Yeah, I remembered. That's very good. What was the, uh, the toughest character you had to do? Oh, there were, uh, she, Fung, I don't know, we did- Bob the, Newman. Yeah, the, my, me, yeah, huh. right. Uh, we did uh, Officer Patty O'Wagon. Hey, then Pajabers is an Irish policeman, you know. And then, uh, of course, uh, then the Gorse was rah, 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 rah. He, for, he would forget his I'd lines. I'd forget that, yeah, that was, yeah, that was a- really forget and his lines. And then, of course, in the corner was Turdy, hi, JP, how are you, kind of thing. And uh, then- That was Miss Smith. Miss Smith, yes, yeah, her favorite little yeah, soupy. There were like 10, 11, 12. The tough one was Andy Granite Belly in the, in the, across the, across the Andy alley. Andy Granite Belly. Yes. Where's the, the, remember the, uh, the used car parts? Mm-hmm. You know? Well, let me tell a funny story about Bob. Uh, we were doing a commercial for a particular footwear product. And one of the things they uh, used in their commercial was a jet pilot that would fly like Buck Rogers with a jet pack on his back. Right. And uh, it was developed by the Air Force. And you could actually fly. It was like Buck Rogers. Well, his name was Commander... Keds. Well, I didn't want to mention the product, but you did already. I didn't hear that. Okay, so they would run the film of Commander Keds landing, and he would walk into uh, my set. Well. The actual walk-in became Bob. Now the and whole thing here is the fact that now, you know we had a helmet, so no one would know it was me, kind of thing. Yes. See, you couldn't tell uh, from You'd the real commander the kids <laughs> to Bob. He had this <laughs> helmet that would disguise his face. Yeah. Couldn't see him. See yeah. how lucky the fans were out I there. I heard that. He would come in and plug kids and then leave. Well, the very last day arrived, and he was to do one last commercial as Commander Kids, but he couldn't find his helmet. Now stop the music. The point is, you know, I used to get paid $7.50 to be on that program. Now that's lunch money, folks. I mean, if I either get that or me and the family don't eat salad next week, you know. So I'm getting on that program kind of thing. So I'm standing out there waiting to the go. The film is running. Commander Kids is landing. Wait a landing. minute, wait a minute, wait a second. I got a sack on my head. I don't care. I'm getting on that program. And all of a sudden, uh, one of the other floor directors, Bill Gerald, who was a devious bad guy, <laughs> God bless him. He comes around the other end of the studio with the helmet. 
Now, I can't run over and get the helmet. It's going to take too much time. And I get over here, Bill, get over here. So he brought the helmet over. I jammed it on, walked to the door, and I started, hi, JP, how are you? you I know? said, hi, Commander Kids. Oh, and then I said, oh, von Gahasef. I said, what they had done, what they had done is stick Swiss cheese and garlic in this helmet, see? <laughs> and I'm passing out, standing in front of him. Well, see you later, JP. Actually. I'm going to tell you a secret. It was Limburger cheese. A lot of that, boy. Let me <laughs> tell you. That's what it was, Limburger cheese. <laughs> and he kept trying to leave. And I said, wait, Commander Kids. Well, this is your so. last time on our program. Because I'm fainting in front of everybody yeah. because of this. Everything was, oh, well, you could put jokes on the next guy. We had a good time. I remember one time uh, I, I uh, uh, woke up. Uh, the, the cuckoo clock spilled water on me. I fell on the floor. The phone rang. I went to the phone to answer the phone. And I couldn't pick up the phone because it was nailed. There was a knock on the door, and the door was nailed. I couldn't open the door. <laughs> and Esmeralda started giggling, and I tried to pick up Esmeralda, and Esmeralda was nailed, and Griswold was nailed. Everything was nailed, <laughs> and I think I laughed for about five minutes. Well, so the whole thing, the, the show was a great show. We had a lot of fun talking, yeah. because we had a great audience see. Now, the audience makes all the difference in the world. If you've got a kind of a hey, hey, audience with then you know, get off of here. And of course, everyone uh, loved to uh, uh, have their birthdays announced. Oh, sure. That, my today? I see you to TV set. Today? If they, you know. I tune it in. And uh, a lot of the girls uh, said they used to run and hide because they were still in their jammies and they didn't want me to see them running around in their jammies. Uh, let me tell you a funny thing that happened. Uh, I think it was like 1960. And I had an appearance and a little girl came up to me and she put her hands on her hips and she said, You're not JP Patches. And I said, Oh, I'm not? Why not? Because JP's black and white. <laughs> she didn't have a color. And a color TV set for great <laughs> lot, You know, we were doing a commercial out in Everett uh, at a, at a uh, large hardware store, and uh, uh, this con he's got a line autographing pictures, and I've got one autographing pictures for these kids kind of thing. And this kid comes, fella comes up, and says, "Where's the lamp black?" Well, now, lamp black is a coloring for the top of, top of concrete. Standard gas stations used to put it all over on their concrete. Okay, we drive cars on. And uh, I says, the lamp black, and I happen to know about this saloon, I says, should be over by the cement, you know? So this guy thinks that I work there, so he goes over the cement. Now, two or three minutes later, he comes he back. He couldn't find the couldn't cement. Couldn't find it. So comes he Comes back to, me, to him and says. <laughs> Where's the cement? And I said, it's over by the lamp black. <laughs> That's it, I'm gone. <laughs> anyway. When you do appearances today, do you have, I mean, are the reactions more from the uh, adults and the African Oh, they're kids. kids. Yeah, they're, they're the adults. Uh, although with some of the, the release of some of the tapes, the kids know who we are. But uh, most of the people that show up at our appearances are 30 and up, you know, your age. You know, the, the kids. At your age. Yeah. The kids will say, clown, clown. But the adults, you know, will shake hands and I already say, hi, JP. Mm -hmm. And Gertrude. What's that make you feel like? I mean, it's, that, that this, well, this memory has lasted so long. It, it has. So. To uh, us, it's, we, we, it's difficult. We, we can't understand why people yeah, keep it's, doing it's, this. Yeah, you know? it's difficult to understand. But I think nostalgia is very popular uh, today. Yeah, you see it in the movies. You see it reoccurrence on television, you know, some of the old shows. And people like to remember when things when they were kids. And I think that's why we're still, I think so. we're still I out think there so. and but, but we, doing appearances. Anybody on a television set, of course, could watch. Now, we had a great audience over at McNeil Island. All of the guys over there, friend, uh, you know, they're watching all day long kind of thing. So they would come to see us, and we got to know them as they would they come to the see us? Well, <laughs> when they were, yeah, oh, out, look, yeah. Send me a job. saw. Yeah. <laughs> so send anyway. Send me a boat. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. So the guy autographed this car, and he says, now take it over to MJP. He said, yeah, sure will. So he goes over, and it's to Fred, see? So what does Chris say? He says, dear Fred, learn how to swim. <laughs> you get that, that McNeil Island, you know. <laughs> But, yeah, we've had a great time, you know. Well, how come, or do you think, could something like this work today? Doubtful. No, I don't think so. I, you know, if you look at the credits on all the children's programs, I mean, there's child psychologists, there's, there's musicians, there are puppeteers, there are writers. I mean, the names go on and on and on. And I'm not saying that we couldn't do it, but we would need a staff that would be uh, just prohibitive. You know, Cross would be pro yeah. prohibitive to do. Besides the fact now, you know, all of a sudden, all of these things that you see coming, all of these tremendous 
special effects, all these giant amplifiers, very costly to do, put, put a production like this together, the, or just the two of us sitting talking or talking or doing our characters, now, it, would that be able to compete with this tremendous amount of uh, special effects that the other ones have? I don't think so. I just, the kids are used to a way now of uh, an extra violence. You know, uh, you teach them early, they don't forget. You know? So it's kind of, I mean, from what you did, it was almost like your props or your ideas came out of well, our props and ideas really came out of nothing. Came out of nothing, right. Really, yeah. just, just out of our fertile brains, the out of my fertile brain. The, yeah, well, hold on. Oh. The prop room, which was sort of the closet kind of thing. Yeah, sometimes it? we would, you know, and of course we'd look in the paper sometimes, and, and JP would run for president, and uh, I actually got some votes one year. I, yeah. I got some votes. And then, of course, I was the mayor of the city dump. Yeah. We used to have a great contest where we had Miss City Dump. And Gertrude was always Miss City yeah, Dump. Yeah, it's the official Miss City Dump. Well, uh, I would get some complaints from kids said, well, how come you don't have a contest and, and have a Miss City Dump contest? So, one year, I had all the kids send me a picture. You know, there's little school pictures, and I received thousands of pictures. We had walls of these things. And we put them all My up gracious. on the wall, and then yeah. I took a dart. The big day arrived, spun around, threw the dart, over my shoulder, and it would land on a particular girl, and she became Miss City Dump for that year. Right, and yeah. we had all kinds of prizes and things, and it was it was great. It was and fun. Gertrude was jealous about it. Oh, oh absolutely, yeah, you yeah. had to be that. I mean, I had a lot like of the you. boys send in pictures, and they would take a crayon and they would put hair, you know, out like this, and put lipstick on their picture. <laughs> <laughs> How come you think that? I mean, we talked about just with, with the idea of uh, the special effects, you know, the kind of show that you guys did. I mean, there's a, I mean, at all, it doesn't seem like there's a morning show with a, you know, a local connection anymore. I mean, it's just cartoons. Uh, you know, I can't up, answer that. Uh, that. I mean, have Seattle, and, and Seattle and Tacoma area, we're, we're not alone. You go all over the country, and there are no uh, the local children's, children's shows. Children's shows. Uh, it's a lot easier for the stations, including Channel 11. To uh, either just run the network, run the network show, or, or run a uh, new just show. buy, just buy a syndicated program and run it. I think economics is one of the biggest problems, I really. Think so, and it's. But uh, I, I think it's a loss to the community because very, you know, uh, it was always fun for the kids to meet a local person, uh, you know, to shake hands and receive an autograph and and come and be on the program. We had thousands of kids uh, over the years. And when we go out and uh, meet people, they say, oh, yeah. one of the things I remember from my childhood, uh, childhood was the day I was on your program. And, yeah, they and do was, this, it was see? A big event. We would consciously say to ourselves, now we see kids every day that come down and be on the program, but we have to remember that these kids have been waiting up to a year yeah. to be here, so let's make it a memorable event for them. And sure. I think we basically succeeded in doing that. We always tried to make it fun for them. You never can tell there's going to be some kid that you really can influence, you know? Like Bill Gates. Like Bill Gates. He came to us and he says, should I go into computer? Would you don't say that. <laughs> he he the, watched our program. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Bill's a nice fellow. He but, admitted uh, it. <laughs> yeah, under, uh, under police pressure. But no, no, under no. Under duress. No.